Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Behind the camera and the detachable microphone is your host, none other than David or Dave. Today is the 4th of July, year 2021, and let's use this opportunity to say hello to my, if possible, transatlantic American subscribers or viewers. Happy Independence Day! So what is going to be the topic of today's video? I'm going to show you a very simple trick to the issue or problem that pertains to Western digital hard drives going bad, not being detected and the likes. So regardless whether we're talking about, as for example, you see the one in front of your screen, the 2.5 inch type, which you can use in a laptop or put it in a enclosure, use it as a removable drive, external drive, or whether you have or own a 3.5 inch type hard drive, so the larger brother, and you use that in a desktop computer or again in another external product like the MyBook or MyCloud and the likes. Wow, man. Uh... This issue or problem pops up in all family type of Western digital drives. So blue edition, green, black, red, gold. This happens to all Western digital type hard drives. I'm not really certain whether this issue can also be found in other brand hard drives like for example Seagate or IBM and that's pretty much all that I remember as Western Digital is heavily advertised or present in a lot of machines nowadays. Back in the days when you still had IDE drives, I remember Maxter was also manufacturing drives. Memory, we will enjoy them. But other than that, I don't remember any other. I think it was last week, a couple of days back, I found this fellow and well, you know, I just picked it up and brought it home. When I removed the torque screws that were securing the PCB or the controller of the hard drive and took a glance at the ladder on the other side, I realized why this was thrown away. Now I'm just going to remove all the torque screws located on the back of the hard drive that have secured the PCB onto the main body and then we're going to have a look at the other side of the PCB to show you what is the problem with this hard drive. Let's see the situation underneath. So I hope you can already just by looking and notice something different. I can't see a thing without my contacts. Let's remove this as well. I'm going to zoom in on the PCB this side and I hope you'll notice something. Oh, oh no, I ain't see nothing. Do you see the difference yet? No? Okay, let's zoom in a bit more. I can see! These contact points, they are very much discolored, like they were burnt. But you can actually clean these. Now, what is the function of these contact points or what do they help to control? I want to know! The actuator arm. They control this gadget. It's basically the arm on which you have the read write heads and they collect the data of the platters of your hard drive. Because I'm guessing that there wasn't a connection being established with these contact points. I think these are gold plated, but these here are actually not. So this is the culprit with a lot of issues that you might have with your Western Digital hard drive. No shit. Regardless of whether they're green, black, blue, red edition, they all have this problem. If only these surfaces could have been, you know, gold plated, Western Digital could add a bit more value to the hard drives and make them more durable and you wouldn't have this problem. But these surfaces are silver plated and silver does corrode despite misconceptions, but there is an easy fix for this. Now let's look at this. The solution lies in something as primitive or simple, stupid as your common rubber pencil eraser. Oh, hell no! Here I have a quite a big chunk. So you just simply rub this on those contact points that have lost their stock or default natural silverish color and they will return to their natural state. Or at least they will definitely become more cleaner and hopefully you'll be able to resolve the issue with your hard drive. But of course this is not always possible if your error or issues are mechanical in nature but this is definitely something that i have witnessed is the problem with lots of hard drives and i have acquired a bunch of these that they were sold on my uh, you could say equivalent craigslist a website or flea market online uh, people were selling them as broken and i just rubbed these contact points and the hard drive was working with no problem i even checked them with crystal disk info hd tune pro no problems we don't care Let's clean that so I'm going to speed this uh, section of the video up now look at that but I cannot see we already have a nice finish silverish in color much more up close 
let's rub it just a little bit more. Yeah, so that's it. I have also cleaned the contact points or the pads on these surfaces here just as a precaution. But just look how nice and beautiful that looks like. Whee! Brilliant, right? And very simple. Now let's uh, reassemble everything. This trick that I showed you definitely does work for hard drives that don't have mechanical failures, so read-write heads are fine. Uh, when I removed the PCB for the first time, I noticed this discoloration of the pads, and I said, well, this would make a great uh, YouTube video for anybody out there that has issues with uh, their hard drive being detected sometimes and other times not. I would definitely recommend that if you have a lot of Western Digital drives, regardless of form factor, whether you have 2.5 inch or 3.5, regardless where you have them, whether it is in a laptop, desktop computers, NAS drives, that you regularly inspect them by taking them out from the respective places or machines, removing the PCB and looking at those surface pads, what is the state of the rough. Thanks for the advice. Because you might prematurely discard them. Those surfaces would become oxidized and you would think that the hard drive has failed on you and you would be basically throwing away a perfectly good drive. Especially if you have large capacities. Well done. So I do hope that you have enjoyed this uh, video tutorial on <laughs> not only how to use your pencil eraser if you don't use it anymore and you write only with your pencil, but most importantly, how to fix possible detection issues with your Western digital hard drive. If you have any other suggestions, questions, constructive criticism, yeah, I do. leave that all down below in the comment section, which is open and you're always invited to a debate. If you haven't liked the video yet, please do so. If you want to share it, go ahead. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you for staying with me so long. Or if you have joined recently, thank you for subscribing. If you're a new viewer, well, please subscribe and we'll see you in another video. Today has been the 4th of July, year 2021, and we'll see you soon. This has been David or Dave. Bye. Blah, blah, blah.